guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. I'm looking great today, but the reason I'm coming on here is because I have a Goodwill haul and instead of gussying up and getting all formal and things like that, I decided, you know what, I really wanna start working on these items, so I wanted to show y'all a quick haul. I do have a part two in this video as well, so if I do look kinda of different in the second part of this haul, that is why um, I had two of these bags in my front seat and then two of the bags are in my trunk. So instead of carrying all of them up, I kind of carried them off half and half and then I got the itch to start working on them. But obviously I want to show y'all what I got first before I start working on them. And I'm going to tell you in this part of the haul, I found something that sells for a lot of money on comps and I was surprised that it was not picked up before I got there because there was another reseller. I sniffed her out and I really wanted the dress that she put in her cart, but I'm also respectful. But if you don't know me, my name is Rosa and on this channel, I create reselling type content like this where I show y'all what I get at different thrift stores to resell for profit online. Right now, my thrift stores are so expensive. Like it's just gonna get worse, I already know. So I have been a lot more picky because I also get a thread up box um, every single month to help with the costs. But yeah, so let's get right into it. I didn't pick up very much. I picked up how many items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in this first part of the haul. Second haul has more, but first part of the haul is seven items. I feel like I picked up more, but we'll go into the first item. This did not have a tag, so he gave it to me for a little bit cheaper. I picked this up due to a few things. It is long sleeve, it's a maxi, and it is a good brand. The brand is Young, Fabulous, and Broke. This is the brand, and it is a really nice long sleeve tie-dye boho maxi dress. I think it's perfect for the summer. I have a tie that goes with it. The next item I got was this Athleta top. I'm very, very picky with my Athleta now because it doesn't sell for so, so much and I'm paying up for it because that's just how my life works now with my with some of our thrift stores. Um, and Goodwill, for example, does not, my Goodwill near me does not have tag sales anymore. They completely got rid of them during shelter in place. So we don't know when those are gonna come back. So I'm paying full price for everything, which really sucks even more, but um, I got this Athleta small tunic top. It is a beautiful like dark red color, super, super stretchy. I don't know what it's called. I believe it's Holiday 20 is what I found on it. I cannot find it, but I think it was Holiday 20. So I picked it up because it was 2020 and it's super nice and squishy and I really, Love this, so I picked it up. It's the next item. Yeah, so the next item I got was this. Y'all, I saw this. I saw this over, uh, oversized sweater, and oversized sweaters are pretty on trend right now. So I picked this up. I didn't know what it was, but the label really got me because it looked like a designer label. And a lot of the times, the designer labels really just like get me, and they're like, oh, just kidding. Like, it doesn't resell for a lot. But this was new with tags. It is called the, the um, pillow sweater, and it is by the brand called Selkie. This is sold on Revolve for like hundreds of dollars. Um, I think in the pillow sweater, the pillow sweater in this color sells for a lot. This is also new with tag, and it's a basic sweater. It is so soft, y'all, so soft. I'm gonna price this high like really high and if it doesn't sell in like a year and a half I'm keeping it. <laughs> now we're gonna go into my next bag. That was like the best find I think of the entire day. Oh no there was another really good find but that's gonna be in part two. Um, I really was getting super tired when I was done with this store. This was the second store I went to today and I was just getting so tired and I was just pretty much done. So that's also why I didn't get a lot. I got a Nick and Zoe 2X top it wasn't too bad not too expensive i thought the colorway was really pretty and nick and zoe can do well um it just depends on the size i've never sold a plus size nick and zoe before so i'm trying it it is a 2x okay next i picked this up because i noticed that 
this particular type of sweater like oversized sweaters like i said do really well and zara oversized sweaters have been selling um from what i could tell so i picked up the zara size large white kind of like cushiony sweater i have to find the right keyword for it but it is a hooded sweater as well it's beautiful it's white there's like no stains or anything on it it was just a in beautiful condition sometimes i get nervous when i pick up white because i'm just like it's probably like so dingy but no it's really nice it's the size large and i think this is just the perfect kind of like winter thing here it is sorry my hair is on it <laughs> all right so i mentioned on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram you can follow me at rosalina ravenclaw on instagram um i talk a lot about like different things that i'm kind of like looking at or researching and the one thing that i noticed from like videos i've been watching and researching is that fair isle is doing really well right now i'm um, not really mattering the brand so i'm trying it i got a size medium gap fair isle sweater looks like this it's really nice and thick and navy blue with some pink yellow and white as well as some red so i thought this would be really cute um for the winter time all right and then the last item that i got in this part make sure to keep on watching because the second part will be coming on right after this but i got a pure jill and extra large it smells actually very is pure jill like i mentioned size extra large it's a beige cream kind of like a oversized top this is definitely like a tunic top i would say beige creams whites neutrals mauves anything like of that nature browns very on trend for the winter time hey guys welcome to part two of this video i am going to be going through everything that i bought at the first goodwill i went to which was a little bit more than what i got in the second goodwill that i went to so hopefully there'll be some more things in here it's obviously a few days later i did tell you it was going to be a few days later so let's go ahead and start off with the big bag first i went ahead and i picked these up so it was pretty slim pickings as well um if i if you didn't know um i live in an area where it's mostly warm so there's not a lot of winter stuff at least where i shop so i tried really hard to find stuff I did pick up these frame jeans. These are white frame jeans, the Lahai Straight. They still sell for decent money. Um, they are a size 28. Um, they don't sell for a lot like they used to, especially the style, but <clears throat> I still wanted to pick them up because I didn't want to leave them behind. Okay, the next item I picked up was for the brand as well as the style this is tommy bahama size medium and this is a gray cable knit sweater dress y'all know i love my sweater dresses but fun fact in the difference between today by the way if i'm speaking a little bit quieter my ear has been clogged for like two days i have like allergies go oh it just unclogged okay uh, it's like on and off but <clears throat> anyways so um yeah it's back to being clogged again um we have cable knit i wanted to pick this up but in the span of difference between like literally two days ago when i first filmed this video and now springtime is upon apparently the resale community and people are buying springtime clothes so i'm hoping these things sell because now i'm kind of out of style it's freaking me out but anyways shop up revolve they're all selling like swimsuits and really cute two pieces that are like spring colored so oh well anyways we have this cable knit dress that's by tommy bahama usually tommy bahama like hawaiian shirts do a lot better but i want to try it out okay i picked this up due to brand style and color this is dolan left coast collection which is sold at anthropology it is a beautiful long sleeve ribbed color blocked classic style dress it's gorgeous if this was oh this is my size so if this doesn't sell 
the girls keeping this i love it it's a size large it probably will sell though it's just a beautiful color block jewel toned ribbed dress and i'm pretty obsessed with it it's super heavy too so you know it's going to keep you warm during these months and the final item i picked up specifically for style this is a banana republic size large cable knit suede mixed media type sweater it has cuff sleeves it's also slightly cable knit i also think it is potentially it has a really good let's see hold on it's it's real leather a hundred percent lamb's wool um and then i don't know dry this is also vintage it's holiday 01 but i'm trying to figure out it's 100% lamb's wool and 100% leather. So it's amazing material. So I think this will sell for a pretty decent penny due to the material and it being vintage. Vintage is 20 years or more. This was made in 2001. So I'm going to put that in the vintage pile. But it's super like nice. So the first item in the second bag, I picked this up because I really loved the transitional wear of this also it's giving like old money preppy which is something else that i kind of like to sell when i can find it in nice quality this is amber Crombie and fitch it is a cable knit vest and it's super nice feeling <clears throat> it's 60 percent cotton 20 percent nylon and 20 percent viscose it is very soft and just super beautiful and I think anyone who is trying to show that old money preppy look is going to love this you just wear like a nice like maybe blue or red or any kind of color like button up under here and you're just gonna look really put together so I really like that all right I picked this up there is a little stain on it but I'm gonna see if I can get it out with water um, this is a jacket that I found when I first got into uh, the Goodwill and this is the brand it sells for a shit ton of money y'all um, this is the brand slate and stone size small it's a men's jacket um, it was in the women's section though but it was it's a men's jacket and it is a very much lightweight jacket but there was a stain on the sleeve it's weatherproof it's like a rain jacket but it's super lightweight and when i looked up comps for this when i was in the store um i saw that it went for around this particular one went around 50 to 60. but if you find a puffer in slate and stone right now it can go for like 150 200 so this one is lightweight it's not on brand right now but it's beautiful and it has it's literally perfect condition except i did see a stain on it on like a sleeve or something i don't know where it is now but it is somewhere and it's just a button up it's super nice it's nylon um it's really like lightweight so i think this will be perfect for the springtime when like the you know the showers the rainy season comes out but it's not super cold i think that'll be really good for that all right i picked this up because again I don't find a lot of winter stuff in my area that's, I guess, affordable to resell. Um, but I picked up And Under Other Stories. I have sold one item from And Other Stories for now. I have another one listed, which is a velvet dress, which I thought would sell, but it hasn't sold yet. Um, this is a size six. Uh, this And Other Stories is an H&M kind of brand, which sells for not like a lot, a lot, but I can sell for upwards of 50 to 60 dollars um it's kind of it's like cost i love picking up cost too um but this is just a floral pleated dress now that you know the, i guess spring is coming in all of the shops this is actually a perfect time to pick this up all right okay i picked this up because i did see comps on this was pretty good um this is also comes with the belt but it is the size it is the brand everlean and it's a size small and it's a gorgeous like sage olive green trench coat perfect for the springtime i was just like okay we're picking this up i guess because this is super nice and like why would i leave it behind and i don't think it was like 
Oh, it was, I did pay up for this one actually. I paid, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I paid 15 for this. So I'm hoping that I can at least get like 50 for it. I feel like that would be a really good conversion rate. Yes, um, $15 for this trench coat. This is where I'm living, you guys. And no, I don't go to the bins. I've been to the bins twice here in my area and it's always been like a hot mess express. So I'm always kind of just like going in peacefully thrifting. Um, I think I have one more item. Yes, I have one more item that I picked up. I picked up this black James Pierce, standard James Pierce size three, which I think is a large like dress blouse thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but James Pierce is a really expensive brand. I don't think it resells for like a ton, a ton yet. I actually didn't look this one up when I was in the store. I looked everything else up, but I saw James Pierce and I was like, you know what? We're gonna try like nice, classic, kind of your basic like shirt dress. Um, it's a great material. So I was just like, you know what? Let's try it out. I haven't had James Pierce in my closet for a really long time. So let's just try it. Um, but anyways, that was the entire Goodwill haul. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I'm a little quiet because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just broken, it's fine. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this haul. Everything should be up by the time you see this video. So if you're interested in anything, make sure to check out my Poshmark closet. I am selling pretty much solely on Poshmark and eBay nowadays. If you guys like my channel, if you guys like my content, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see y'all all. Y'all all, y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.